Hey everybody, Josh KI6NAZ. I'm coming to you from Oceanside, California. I happen to be out here for winter field day and I set up a portable station running my ICOM 705, a Panasonic Tupf book, and a Wolf River coil. Now, this is kind of a two-part review for the Wolf River coil. This is the stock whip that comes with the Wolf River and this will take you from 10 meters down to 80. It's a fairly high Q antenna meaning its resonance point is, is pretty narrow. And you have to use the coil on the bottom, the namesake coil, to adjust the frequency that you wanna have. Well, I, I've swapped this out. I still carry this with me, but I've swapped this out for the chameleon whip, which is considerably longer. And what that allows me to do is to get kind of better performance in the 40 meter band. It opens up the bandwidth, so I'm able to do both digital and phone while keeping my SWR below 1.5 to 1, which is pretty good. So let me show you the antenna and I'll show you my setup and we'll talk a little bit more. So the namesake of the Wolf River coil is this metal coil PVC contraption you see at the bottom of the antenna here. It has three legs of a tripod and three radial wires that it ships with. I have an older model, so my tripod legs are a bit short. I recommend if you're gonna get one of these, get the longer tripod legs, as that'll do better for you uh, in the wind. Uh, it's just a better platform, particularly to do what I've done here, which is attach a longer whip. This is a chameleon whip that basically <laughs> takes the resonance down to on 40 meters with very slight adjustment of the coil here. You can see that only a couple of those loops are engaged right now in the antenna, and this is resonant right now on the phone portion of 40 meters. Pretty nice little setup. It's also worth noting that the three bags you see at the bottom there are filled with rocks to weight the tripod down. I did topple this thing over twice today, uh, and it's because it didn't have those bags holding it down. This can pick up some wind when you use the much longer whip, so keep that in mind and you can see the wind load we're, we're putting on right now. Quite a bit of action here with the uh, breeze coming in off the, off the coast here. So what do I think of the Wolf River? I think once you understand what it is, it can be an effective antenna. With this whip, I'm able to do wind link email, JSA call on winter field day, and make phone contacts fairly effectively, and that's even at the 10 watt output I'm using with the ICOM 705. The thing you have to keep in mind with an antenna like this is you are going to be playing with the coil going up and down the, the outside of the coil with that collar to adjust where the resonant frequency is. You're going to be doing that a lot if you want to change bands. If you go with the stock whip, you're going to be moving around a lot too as you go through some of the wider bands, like 20 meters, you're going to have to adjust it. 10 meters to a point, you'll have to adjust it too. 80 meters for sure, you're going to be moving around all over the place. So just keep that in mind, when you have an antenna like this, it's going to need to be adjusted quite often. With that said, if you don't really mind moving around a bit or you're not going to be jumping frequencies a lot, in my case, I've been on 40 all day. And with the longer whip, I haven't had to do anything. All my SWR has been, standing wave ratio has been anywhere from 1.5 to 1.1 SWR the entire time. And I've been making contacts on phone, digital, without any issue. To give a bit of flavor on what I like to do, I printed out these wire winders on my 3D printer, and I use these for the radials. I use a little hair band so that I can wrap it around and tie it off. These are great, they go right in the pack. It's really easy to backpack into a location. It doesn't weigh a lot. And you know, with, with this combination and the tripod, I kind of just leave it all configured with the base on the bottom of the coil. I'm able to get this up and running within about 10 minutes or so. That includes the tuning time. A note on the tuning time. I already mentioned the up and down, the collar is how you're going to adjust the resonant frequency. What some people do is they take a Sharpie marker and they mark the antenna base on the coil where the resonant spot is for a given band. That works, but every time you change the whip or you do something different with the antenna, you're gonna have to readjust it and that those lines may move. What have I found that's effective is Take a picture, and that sounds a little odd. Take a picture, and you can also mark the, the coil. Just keep in mind that that's more of a, a, a space of operation. You're still gonna have to go in and adjust it up and down with the collar, and then if you wanna fine tune it, rotate the collar. That'll actually give you a fair bit of 
work that you can do adjusting the SWR. At the time of recording this video, the Take It Along 1000, which is the body you see here with the stock whip and the mega legs runs about $160. I'm not affiliated with Wolf River Coil, but I will post a link in the description so you can check it out. This is a fine antenna to take with a 705 because you're adjusting the antenna directly. You're physically tuning the antenna for the resonance spot, so it works out just fine. Thank you for watching. I am Josh KI6NAZ. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I live stream every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you check it out. See ya.